Hi, Sam from SSL here. In this video, we're going to take a look at stems. I like to think of stems as supergroups, as they are unlike any bus or orcs found in other live consoles. Whereas an orcs can only feed a master, a stem can feed other stems, other orcs, matrix channels, or masters. A stem group is a unique mix bus that takes the functions of a subgroup, an input, an orcs, and a matrix, and rolls them into one extremely powerful mix tool. Stems can act as a processed audio subgroup. A drum bus, for example, that has full channel processing, access to the effects engine, and the ability to send to any other bus in the console. A stem also has its own level contribution, meaning it can work exactly like an auxiliary for creating monitor mixes. This becomes even more powerful when combined with the flexibility of the pick point on each stem bus. Unlike auxiliaries, which are only selectable pre or post fader, stems have a feed point that is selectable per input per stem group, either post all, pre fader, post trim, post insert A, post insert B, or post fader. This means that I can send an uncompressed feed to a vocalist's IEMs by placing their feed point post insert A and moving this in the channel processing order pre-dynamics. This saves the need to duplicate inputs in the monitor world. Stems can also feed other stems. This can be useful for nested subgroup mixing, such as an orchestra for example. Stems are also handy for keeping processed master control of an on-stage multi-instrumentalist. And finally, stems can be sent to auxiliary buses for traditional effects processing. Remember, all of the processes I am demonstrating today can be practiced on our offline software Salsa, which is available to download for free from our website. Thanks for watching.